Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and I am playing with my hair. <laughs> Hey, how are you today? It is a Friday at our GKK Live, but thank you so much for joining me on the replay. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of uh, working on the Loom Live today. So welcome everyone. So this is my little tool I'm going to keep to the side. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm doing every other color um, here, going from right to left uh, in these two colors. And I counted, these are eight, there's 18 across, so halfway, which would be right here um, at nine, I'm gonna put this color here. And then I'm gonna double up this color again. And then I'm gonna start switching it. Okay, so it's gonna do the opposite in this direction. Like this, so. It should be Yeah. Okay. So see how um oops. See how the ends are the same color, the sides are the same color and they work their way in and it's doubled up here. Okay, now I'm going to do the opposite on this side because I only have 18 of each color, so I've already used all 18 of one side. I mean, technically there's 18 over here, and then I have 18 that I've gotta go work this direction. So um, I'm going to um, start working with this lighter color first, and it's gonna go across here, but I'm gonna be working um, every, other, uh, every other color here. So I need to get my little stick out uh, yeah, technical term here. This is my stick. It's got a hook on it, and um, we're just gonna go up under every other color. Okay, so right now I'm just going under all the yellows. Okay, and now I'm still going every other, but now I'm gonna start grabbing this pink color or the coral color. It looks, it's sort of called coral underneath my light here, so we're gonna call it coral. Going under the coral. All right. And then I'm going to um, put that on the hook. And we're going to pull it on through. And I'm going to put it on this first one. So I'm just going to go pull it all the way through. And then we just set it on this first peg. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do every other one um, and switch it. So now we're gonna work with uh, this color here. Stretch it across and it's gonna go every other uh, color that we did before. Uh, I'm gonna see if I should do the smaller one. Maybe that'll be easier for me. So now I'm going under the coral. If I had a Tunisian hook handy, oh, I might, I might actually end up running and using that one but okay so do you see how now I have these on top okay and so the part that was bumped up before now is going to have like right where you see this bar that's where this um, coral color is going to fall and so we're going to hook it on I saw this um, uh, credit, give credit where credit's due. I saw this with Stacy with Very Pink Knits. I have not done it. Um, I've been wanting to do it. And Stacy Perry has some amazing stuff. And I thought, I am going to give this a try. I don't know who originally did it. So I just saw it and thought, let me try it. So Here we go. All right, so now I've put it on here. You can see it's every other one, and then we could just push it down. Right? So we're getting like a two-tone effect. So this side's gonna look a little different, and then it's gonna be like opposite over here. And then uh, now we need to pull yellow. Okay, and notice like I went ahead and put a stitch marker here. Uh, I mean, this is just like a, whoops, it's like a hairband thing. 
well, hair tie. And I did one here just so I can visually see where halfway was so I could flip the colors. So when I get to this point, I'll know where to flip the colors. So um, my next one is going to be yellow. And uh, I'm going to, um, here's another way to do it. So you can go through every other one here. I know I'm going to go through this pink one. So I'm just going to go through here. Pull it on through like that. And then I can go through this way. Um, so that way, if you can't go all the way across, you can just do it halfway and then just lay it down on there. Make sure not skip. So you can see how um, it's best to make sure that they're laying flat, they're not twisting. If it twisted, then um, it would give a, a weird appearance uh, to the color. So we wanna make sure, push that down. And then now we're just gonna do it again. These are great um, for, the, um, for getting to kids. Um, it's a great way to get them started in crafts, potholder looms. Um, you can find them at major craft stores. Um, I've, I've even seen them at Walmart. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, a uh, it's a great, great way to get kids crafting. If you, I mean, many, many adults enjoy, um, I'm doing it, <laughs> potholder looms. You want, um, a cotton yarn, um, because if you're going to be using it with a, um, if you're going to be using it for um, hot things like pots and stuff, um, you don't want it to melt. And so a cotton is going to um, provide that safety for you. Um, they do shrink up, so it's not going to be um, something as large as this. Now, this is a large part holder loom. Um, the ones that are a little bit uh, smaller, they're going to shrink up more like a, I think it's a six by six size or something. So um, now we're going to the pink on this side. And then um, you have to get the um, the lubes. Now, the, usually the pot holders, uh, pot holder looms will come with loops. Uh, and then you you got to get refills on them. Um, this particular one, I haven't seen loops that look like this before. Um, they're a little bit smoother, but I kind of like the texture of these. Um, it just has to do with whoever made them. Okay, we're going under pink. So you can also like, some people just like prefer to do it this way. Someone may have said this on there. I, I see kids doing this a lot. They'll just do it with their fingers. And for this video purposes, I kind of want to do it that way. So we're going to go um, under the yellow here. I'm going to show you the danger of doing that. See how like it can twist it? So you want to kind of lay it out. Now we want into the pink. Now when it gets down to the other side, that's when it gets, things get tighter. And it's better if you have a, um, if you have a, like a crochet hook or you can use this one, but it's going to get much tighter. So if y'all want to stick around, you can see what it finishes like, but you can, you see how it's kind of opposite on this side over here. So, um, we're going to keep going yellow. I'm not reading comments. I'm just looking down right now. Maybe I should look up Terry loops. Thank you. <clears throat> That's from Jeanette. Hobby has mostly nylon ones. 
Okay. Well, just make sure that they're cotton because I want to say I've gotten a bag of um, of cotton ones from Hobby Lobby. So just make sure when you're buying them what the content is. If they're acrylic, they're definitely not going not gonna to work with hot stuff. So we're going to go under the yellow. And under the pink, halfway. Making sure not to twist this. Can y'all see the pattern developing now? Can you see it kind of emerging? Okay, Christy says, uh, Hobby Lobby has cotton blend loops and one pound bag. Okay. And you can make them from uh, t-shirts. If you got some long sleeve uh, uh, t-shirts that uh, are stained or whatever, you can cut up the sleeves um, <clears throat> into little bands. Uh, you can... Uh, <clears throat> sew a circle like take your t-shirts and cut them and um and then sew them into a loop uh, to, into a, a circle that's the right size you need it's good it needs to be a little tight for your um for your loom and then you can uh, once you sew it up then you can just cut it and use the loops that way um i would like I, i'm not a great <laughs> sewer or something you might want to do like some kind of zigzag stitch or something to make sure it doesn't pop off and unravel um <clears throat> I wouldn't want to tie knots with it though. Okay, okay, now I've messed up. Now I, I need to undo something. Okay, watch this. So remember what I said once I went halfway, I need to like change my direction. So I've got these other these every other one. Instead of like pulling them out and just trying to do it again, all I need to do is pick them up and slide them down a little bit. So um, I'm just gonna pick this up. And remember I said the opposite, the, the same colors on the opposite side, so this yellow goes over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, uh, I can go ahead and put in a yellow here because I know it's gonna be there. Um, and the yellow goes, um, uh, yeah, so this one is gonna slide down to that way. It's gonna slide all the way down here. And this one's gonna slide all the way down here. There we go. Okay, and now I need to go ahead and double up. Um, oh, this one's gonna slide down too. Slide. Okay, so um, I'm on my halfway point and that's where I need to double up this color. Whatever color hits my halfway point, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, it's still the over under. Um, it's just, I'm just changing my color. Oh, some kind of. Hey, let's use our new tool. There we go. I 
I call it your tool. It's like your tool. <laughs> it's my tool, but you're on here with me. Let's use our new, new tool. I love this color palette. This is so cute, you guys. Ah. Okay. I can go ahead and slide these back down, though, just to kind of speed up the process. This is what it would look like if you're doing it. Oh, no, I can't. This is every other one. Ha, 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 Kristen. See, I can't do that. See, I make mistakes. <laughs> I can't because I had already fed it every other one. So lesson learned. I shouldn't have done that. If someone spoke up early, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm not reading the comments. All right. This is twisted. That's really twisted. There we go. Are any of these other ones twisted? I'm like trying to make sure it's all perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I would hate for me to have one little twist in here when I work so hard not to. All right. When I get to the point where I need to use my tool here. This just feels faster with the cotton loops. I wouldn't normally do this in, say, weaving, because uh, then you're handling the yarn too much. Like, if you're doing weaving with, with yarn, um, I don't think it's good to just continue to handle the yarn uh, with your oils on your hands and stuff, but these cotton loops, is, it's fine. Okay, look, I'm really getting down to the end here. I should have one, two, three, four, five loops left. I'm right at it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Cindy Wood counted out their loops before they brought it, sent it to me. Thanks, Cindy Wood. So I can do two projects with how much they sent me. Are y'all curious what this is going to look like after? Was handy. Okay, two loops left. The yellow is going to be the last one because remember it's yellow here. Can you see the pattern? <laughs> All right. You know, let me see if I can reach my um, Tunisian hook here. It's not as helpful as I thought it would be. Here it goes.
Okay, this is the last one. Let's try this one. I'm gonna flip it over. See if we can go left handed here. That la this last one is just a lot more tedious. All right. Ta-da! So do you see the pattern here? And then what you do is you just start taking the, the loops off with a crochet hook and just work in a direction. Uh, and then start uh, pulling through each loop here. So uh, we can uh, take this one and this one. Pull it over. So you're just going in, pulling it over. It over and so it makes this nice pretty chain with every other color like that My son is going to love this. Yellow is his favorite color. He's going to go, oh, mommy, you made this for me. <laughs> okay, so I've done this side. And then we want to make sure and keep the tension going. So um, I want to take um, one of these here. and just um, place it back on the loom. Like that. And keep the tension going, okay? This temporary, it'll, it'll stretch back out. But it'll keep that tension uh, nicely. So here we go. And we can keep going around. It's bothering me. <laughs> There's another little one of those little hairs. <laughs> I'm loving this tool today. <laughs> I'm totally using it. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> like we're friends. Like like we're buds. Hey, Vicky, what's up? Thanks for the clover tool. <clears throat> we're not friends. I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't know her personally. That sounded funny. We're not friends. I'd be friends with her if she wanted to be. All right, here we go. And I love it. Now one of the little squares is emerging. Isn't it cute? So cute. Where am I from? Cute? Oh, it's so cute. People who don't know me are like, why is she talking so much? All right, so then we want to keep the tension, so we're going to pull on another one of these. Just kind of pulling somewhere in the middle. I mean, I'm going to get two of these loops here. 
I've seen this done with one loop at a time, but I kind of like grabbing two of them. <clears throat> so I think you need a crochet hook for this part. I mean, you could use the hook at the end on this, um, but I like having a crochet hook. I like the smoothness of the, the throat part in this little shaft here. I, I, I just like it better. The, the smooth head of the, the hook. This is actually my grandmother's uh, Tunisian hook. When she, when she passed, my grandfather held on to her supplies for a few years, and then he realized I was using. I, I learned after she passed, <clears throat> and uh, so he gave them all to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you have this. And she had like unfinished projects in there too because her uh, hands have started to not be able to do it. So I still have some of her, her whips, her works in progress. Unfinished objects, UFOs. Handwritten patterns for dishcloths and things. Okay, we've got a couple of them now. <clears throat> One more. See if I can pull it. Oh yeah, there we go. So we're keeping the tension going so it's even on all the sides. That's why I'm pulling those like that. Because it has this four corner design. I don't want it to be wonky. Okay, and then I could take this off and this off and then I'll work on the tension on that. So I'm gonna work this out. Hold on, I'm just messing with it. Can you hear my puppy dog? She's like going crazy still. Such a cute little design. Look at that, isn't that fun? I love it. Do you guys like it? I love this design, it's so cute. Like you don't think it's gonna turn out like that. And then boom, there it is. It has that cute little detail edge, isn't that sweet? So you can like totally spruce up your uh, pot holders with just doing this simple design. So again, um, you just need um, uh, one color, however many loops, uh, how many pegs are on one side of your loom, and then your other color, color B, um, eight, that, that many pegs, so mine was 18, and then you just um, <clears throat> work your, say your color A from outside to the end, so the middle pegs um, are doubled up. In this case, peg number nine and 10 have the same color uh, as each other. And then you start going in the opposite direction. And then um, and the other side, it's the same exact thing. Um, you just start with the opposite color that you started with before on this side so that you totally have the same uh, equal amount of, uh, of colored bands. Well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that today. Happy knitting and crochet. Love you all.